What's up guys, we're back on Black Ops Cold War Zombies and today we're gonna be getting the Street Sweeper Dark Ether. Now I was debating on getting either the Swiss or the Street Sweeper Dark Ether today, but I've been working on the season five zombies challenges so I can get this nice calling card. And one of the challenges is to get a thousand critical kills with shotguns. So I might as well work on getting a shotgun Dark Ether while I'm at it. Now really quick, let's look at my camo progress here. It looks like I already have the stroke camo done and a little bit of progress on some other things, nothing too crazy, but it is still a lot to do. I just need 2,500 kills with it, 2,500 crits, 2,500 kills while packed, you know, all, all the usual stuff. And also here's the build I'm using, Agency Choke. And I don't know if I should go with the Cavalry Lancer barrel or the Task Force barrel. I, it seems to be very mixed on which ones are the best. I kind of want to use the Hammer Forge just because it ups the fire rate even more. So yeah, yeah, I guess I'll go with it. Ember Sighting Point, 18 round drum, and the Marathon Stock. And our field upgrade today is going to be Ring of Fire. Also, I've been enjoying grinding on Firebase Z again. It makes getting camo so much easier. So so I'm going to hop back on there. All right, just go ahead and drop me off over here. Also, we're rocking a new skin today. I thought I need a little change. And here is what the street sweeper looks like. I have kind of a, a weird build. I have a blueprint on it mixed with some other stuff. Let's see how it does. That wasn't a crit. Is the spread on this too crazy to get crits? That didn't even kill? Come on. Okay, there we go. Now, I do remember using this in multiplayer. And the biggest issue with it was its reload speed. Yeah, look at this. It's taken this long to put five bullets into it. I also chose the largest mag, which has a slower reload speed. So I might be in a bit of a pickle here, but that, that's why speed coal exists. And that's why ring of fire exists. So I, I think, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's go work on getting power on. Where are all the zombies at? Here they come. Hey there, big fella. Gone. Don't want that nuke. I don't even know why they have nukes drop like within the first 10 rounds. It feels like such a waste. Oh, there's our wasteland camo. We're already getting camos. We just need a little more cash and we can be able to open both doors. All right, let's see if we have enough now. I think that should be. Oh yeah, we for sure have enough. Grind the rail. Easy. Give me these and start her up. Oh, there's our camo. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh, this reload's gonna kill me. I can already feel it. There we go. Goodbye. On to the next one. Let's reload the entire time we're walking there. I'm still reloading. Almost made it. Oh, it literally almost took the entire time to walk there to reload. All right, we got the second one on. Grab our loose change. I really hope when this thing's pack-a-punched, it has like 80 rounds in the mag. It's reloading this thing is a nightmare already. Hey, leave it alone. Please don't be a nuke. Oh, double points. We'll take those. And that's the reactor. Let's pop this open. And let's get our last reactor on. I feel like this is going to be a very painful grind for some reason. So I'm already struggling to keep up with ammo. And we're on round five. We might have to get speed coal as our first perk. Look at this. I'm still reloading walking around this thing. It's taking the whole round to reload. It's powerful when it has ammo in it. But when you have nothing in it, you're just going to be running away. All right, there we go. That should be the reactor. I'm still reloading. I've been reloading since before the reactor was on. Okay, I need to pack a punch right away. There we go. Get off me. Let's grab this loose change. And this is what the street super looks like with the first Pack-a-Punch camo. Kind of butt cheek. Not gonna lie. But we did get power on like on round five and Pack-a-Punch. That's pretty good. All right, let's hurry up and try to do this jug Easter egg. There we go. Now come here. Any day now, bunny. There we go. Let's take out these zombies while we get a little extra. Goodbye, bunny. Oh, there's a mimic. Ooh, it shreds the mimic. Oh, and the, the bunny spawned right over us. Now get out of here, zombies. Let's pop this open. What we got? A Farah, FFAR. That's a good weapon. Not gonna use it though. And I, I've been pleasantly surprised. This thing actually has 45 rounds when Pack-a-Punched in the mag. That's pretty good. Also, the Pack-a-Punch name is Road Rage. Pretty yeah. nice. Now, I wanna train up the rest of the zombies in this round and see how this thing does with Ring of Fire. All right, I think we have all the zombies for the rest of the round grouped up. Let's hit the Ring of Fire and see what happens. Oh, destruction happens. This thing is disgusting. It took out the entire round that fast. That's a well-earned gun runner and corrosion camo. Now let's get speed cola. Definitely need it. And quick revive. Just as a little insurance policy. Now let's see how much faster our reload is with speed cola. So I shot a few off there. Okay. That was pretty fast actually. Oh, I think I reload five at a time now. That's very useful. There's our forecast camo. Gotta reload again. Okay, it's a little manageable now. Still kind of slow though. It's about like LMG speed. Or at least I can shoot in between reloading the shells, which is always nice. Get away from me. Let's go ahead and upgrade our gun. Get it to green and we can't get it to blue yet. We're almost there. Actually, maybe now we can. Oh, and we can. Perfect. In our next perk, 
I'm going to get death perception so we can get some more salvage. Oh, glacier camo. We're getting there. That one looked like Uncle Walter. What did he just say? He said that one looked like Uncle Walter. Who the fuck is Uncle Walter? Oh, a Gersh device. I'll take that. Okay, no ammo. Let's see how long it takes to reload all the way back up to 45. Still going. All right, actually not that long. All right, Uncle Walter said that we should get some dead shot and we're almost done getting all of our perks. Hopefully we can get them before the assault wave starts and we don't have to run back and forth. There's degeneration camo. I think that's the critical kill one. I didn't get the chance to check. Could be pack a punch though. All right, now we can get stamina up. We're so close to getting mule kick. A good thing an assault wave isn't starting yet. All right, I decided to train them up. Now come on in here. I'm gonna do one of these. This thing is so disgusting with the ring of fire. Literally just decimated the whole round. Oh, there's our crit camo. So it was pack punch earlier. Anyways, here's mule kick. And now we're done with our perks. Let's go ahead and head up and just be ready for when the assault wave comes. It's looking like it's going to be a late one. I'm home, boys. Always got to give them their smooches for good camo luck. Curls kind of feels like it's it's too long range to be able to get crits efficiently from here. At least with the shotgun. It has to be very accurate. But running out of ammo in here is going to be tough. All right, there's our assault wave. And it's all the way on the other side of the map. Let's upgrade our armor really quick before we head on over there. All right, we made it just in time. Let's get these crits. Oh my God. This thing is a menace. Oh, hold on. I got to reload. The menace has to reload. This thing tears. Jeez. Oh, you know what we forgot to get? An ammo mod. I, we can grab it next time we go to pack a punch. Oh, grind the rail. Nice. That was a 360 too. Actually, since I think kernels might take longer and not be as good for crits, I'm going to try something different. Maybe we can do it like right here. It's as long as we don't run out of ammo. Ooh. I don't know about the spot actually for crits because it's not looking the craziest. I have seen people get to some pretty high rounds in the spot. Maybe I just need the Ray K to do it. But it does seem like the spawns are way faster here. Either way, we had enough to get Pack Punch 2, so let's head back and do that. Okay, grabbing Pack Punch 2. Let's put Cryo on this as well and get the hell out of here. All right, this is what the Street Sweeper looks like with Pack Punch 2 on it. Very nice, very clean. Now let's try that spot again, but this time I'm gonna go all the way to that back wall and try not to buy that door. Maybe that'll be better, like right about here. My only problem is if I'm stuck in here without a ring of fire, I'm dead. Does does seem pretty good for crits, I'll say that. Oh, ring of fire, let's go. And that's the round. Yeah, this spot is fast for rounds. And we could always just come over here and repair our armor. So I'm always really bad about doing that. Might as well grab the blueprint while we're here too. Oh yeah, this spot's actually not that bad so far. I guess ask me again at a later round when it starts getting a, a little difficult. The only problem is this, the salvage pop-ups are kind of annoying. Like, this nade is just going to be in my face the whole time I'm here. Uh-oh, don't have a ring of fire. Hold on, fellas. Shoot the gun. We're almost there. Maybe I just chill out there till I get a ring of fire and then come back in. Is that the strat? Oh yeah, I'm definitely seeing how this is going to be a problem at later rounds. Yeah, so let's not be in here if I don't have like close to a fully charged ring of fire. That's just disaster waiting to happen. He's a little sleepy man. He fell asleep on the job. A ring of fire is ready, but I'm going to wait till I absolutely need it. Okay, I need it. Maybe I really didn't. Actually, the time it would have taken to reload, I definitely would be like on the ground right now. Better to use it and not need it as much than to not use it and, and absolutely need it. And really quick, let's check our crit progress. 406 out of 537. I feel like that ratio is going to be real bad. Racking up the manic camo. I think that's all of our elites. I think we're already done with elites. I'm not too far into this either. Oh, and we got our shotgun crits done. There's our calling card for the season five challenge. That's another round in the books. I don't know why I haven't used this area before. I've played on this map so many times and I always just sit right over here in kernels. It's like rounds go so fast here and I don't have to worry about the, the mangler getting caught. And this depth perception kind of lets me know if I have time or not to reload. Depth perception is such a, a, a welcome addition. It's like far and away better than tombstone. Tombstone, when it was added, you're like, oh, sick, new perk. And then you get it and you, it doesn't really do too much. A death perception, get all this extra salvage, get to see when these zombies are coming, get that bonus like armor damage, I'm pretty sure. Like death perception is pretty good. And we have another assault wave on our hands. But first let's upgrade our gun to pink. Oh, we have 30 seconds. Should we go pack a punch? Well, we'll pack a punch after. We'll, we'll, we'll save that as a little reward for us. All right, which one are they coming through? Our left, crit city, population me. <laughs> that is so not fair for them. Oh, grudge camo. We're already at 750 kills with this thing. 
Honestly, the Street Sweeper would be a really good secondary. Like, this is such a, a good gun to have with Mule Kick. As a primary, you know, the reload really holds it down. But as a secondary, if like, I don't know, you, you're you out of ammo or something with one gun or you're you're in a tough spot, only got the Street Sweeper is a no-brainer. Oh, my Lanza. This thing shreds. I wish there's a field upgrade that just instantly reloaded your weapon. That would be a nice... That, you know what? Yeah. If they're looking for suggestions on field upgrades, add that. Maybe if they don't want to add double tap as the last perk, they could they could add something like automatically reload your weapon. Uh, do bonus damage for this amount of time. It kind of would be like Ring of Fire Light. And I don't know. Somebody could probably figure it out better than I could but I think that would be a cool idea. Oh my, I completely forgot to even go pack a punch. These rounds are just going by so fast. We have 51,000 right now. I don't, how are we getting this much points? Oh yeah, and that crit ratio I was talking about, it is awful now. 773 to 579. Not good. And this is Pack-A-Punch 3 on the Street Sweeper. I really love this camo a lot. I wish there was a way to choose what Pack-A-Punch camos you're putting on here, like between these ones and the, the new ones they added on Maurer. It's just a little more customization or like choice with the Pack-A-Punch camos would be nice. I just, I, I'd have some fun with it. I like the, the aesthetic of the Pack-A-Punch camos. And I'm low on ammo here with no ring of fire. Oh, what? I can just kind of walk out. Okay. All right. Later, guys. Okay. Definitely. If you're kind of new to grinding, I don't know if it's just a sweet, a street sweeper thing, but I would not recommend coming in here because things get a little messy, like, re like real fast. We just come out here, get a few crits, you know, get our steps in for the day. Once we get a ring of fire, we head right back in. I also have not looked down like the sights on this thing at all yet. Let me, let me group these guys together and I'll try it out on them. All right. Here's ADS. Holy. This thing is a monster. Okay, so the whole lore on Firebase is that this is like Omega's base. And then, you know, zombies just started pouring in from, from the ether, the aether. So hold on. Let me, let me get out of here because things are getting a little hairy. So tell me why they just have barbed wire on the inside of this door conveniently. Like, I, I know it's like a, it's just like a zombies thing to show where they spawn and all that. And I'm like taking it a little too seriously, but that's... Why do they have that there? That's that's such a, a work hazard. Even in a firing range. Like, obviously, they're over here, you know, they're shooting their guns and all that. Did this door get blown open? They're like, okay, well, let's just put barbed wire around it so nobody climbs through it. And where's the handle on it? Is that a handle? It just looks like a piece of metal. Dude, Osho would have a field day here. I'm actually kind of curious. I don't want to grab Elemental Pop yet because it'll take away from my crits. But when I reload this thing, will it cherry every time I put a shell in? Or just when I, like, initiate the reload? So that'll be cool to see. Uh-oh. Gotta go. Almost died there. At a later round, that definitely would have killed me. But we're not at a late round. So we, we can get away with stuff like that. And we can also go ahead and upgrade our Street Sweeper to Legendary. We're fully maxed out on our gun now. Oh, Bloodshed Camo. We're at 1,500 kills with this. That's pretty fast. Oh, and here comes Orda. I'm curious to see how this does against Orda because he's going to be pretty far away. So our does our range affect our damage? I, I'm sure it does. And we don't have our Ring of Fire. So maybe we just focus on zombies at the very start, get our Ring of Fire going, and then attack Orda. Well, I'll, I'll see how the first shot goes. How much damage are we going to do from here? There's a Sky's Butthole, and there's our boy Orda. Yeah, I can't even hit him from here. That's a yikes. All right, well, this is uh, this kind of awkward, Orda. I guess I'm going to kill your little zombie friends while I wait. Now, this is good. A lot of times on these Orda rounds, I'm ignoring the zombies. You know, we fall behind on crits and all that. This is good. This is good for both of us. Orda, you know, gets to, you know, stretch his legs, walk around, get limbered up for this ass kicking he's about to get. And, you know, I get camo progress. It's, it's, it's a, it's a win-win. Everybody in the situation's happy. Orda's getting close. Let's just ring a fire now. Is it not even hitting him? Oh, okay. We have to get really close. I kind of just wasted my ring of fire though. Let's go back into it. Get some work out of it. Okay, we have to get dangerously close to Orda. I'm going to use the cashmere device. All right, this has been a nightmare so far. I didn't I didn't think we had so little range. But once we get close, it does a lot of damage. Please don't step on me, Orda. I don't like to be stepped on. Okay, all right. I'm kind of struggling right now, but let's grab this. So we don't have to worry about our little device in here. Let's throw that down. Orda's extremely close though. Oh my God, this is awful. Okay, I, I definitely could have handled this better. It, it does a decent amount of damage to him, but we don't have the range to get close enough for this to be like, you know, usable. 
I'm just hitting him with cock shots. Man, that was bad. That was real bad. Next time he comes around, hopefully we're, <laughs> we're better prepared. That's disappointing because it, it seemed like it was doing a pretty decent amount of damage to him whenever we got close. But we have to get so close to him, there's the threat of getting stepped on. All the zombies are, are hoarding us. We don't get the, the luxury of staying up on that balcony. Now that we have this information, it's going to be a lot tougher the second time through because of uh, his, his health goes up a little bit. But now we have the knowledge. You know, and as, as Ty Lopez said, knowledge is everything. We might not be able to take out Orta, but what we can do is grind the rail. Ooh, right past the zombie too. You know what? This whole time there's been this apply blueprint feature. I should just make a few classes with like different barrels and such. And if I feel like one's not working well enough, I just switch to the other. But you know, I'm too small IQ to think of that before starting the game. I think of it 32 rounds into it. Like we could literally just have a blueprint strictly for order rounds. That give us the extra damage range and all that. Oh, I think of things so late. It's like when you think of a comeback to, to an argument or something like weeks later. So I've, I've, I've had Dark Aether for months now. now. I'm just now working on my final weapons and I'm thinking of that. Let's repair our armor and I'm going to go test out what Colonel's is like now. Because we didn't really give it a fair shot with this gun. We kind of just panicked and left. Okay, I bring a fire here. Okay. Crits are, are decent. Nothing too insane. But rounds definitely go by way faster than the other area. I'm so torn now. I feel like I'm in a, a love triangle with all these grinding spots. Either way, whenever I have to reload and I don't have a ring of fire, I have to leave the area. So I guess it depends on which area is better for when I have to reload, and I think it's the other one. But just for old time's sake, I'll finish out the round up here. Come on, give me my ring of fire. There we go. Why am I reloading in my ring of fire? I hate it when it does that. All right, and our very last victim get out of here. All right, I'm going back. Our crit ratio has fallen quite a bit. We're almost at 2,000 eliminations, but not even at 1,500 crits. Really need to focus up on those. Oh my, why am I reloading in my ring of fire? Stop making me do that. The whole reason I use it is so I don't have to. Hey, there's our threshold camo though. 1,500 crits. No. Oh, Mimic, you might have just saved me. Holy, let's go Mimic. That's the one time when Mimic grabbing me has actually like saved my life. Oh, there's our rotten camo. We're done with kills. I could just pop this ring of fire and end the round, but I'm scared that's when Orda's gonna show up. And I need revenge on Orda. I did not handle that first meeting with him well at all. Okay, yeah, I was smart in saving it because now he's back. It seemed like it did a pretty decent amount of damage when I actually could land some hits, but I gotta be smarter. Maybe I'll buy like decoys or something. Okay, I'll grab a napalm strike just to hold the zombies off from hitting that. I'll grab three decoys. And you're not getting away easy this time, Orda. Now I'm prepared. Knowledge is power. Remember that. Come on down. But like Orda just comes down, takes the power from the facility, and then goes back home for a while. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see what his deal is. Okay, let's get a few kills here while we wait. Is he close enough yet? Can I hit him from here? No. What if I go all the way up? Nothing can stop me except for this range. Okay. Here's my plan. They're all running up here anyways. Let's throw a decoy and put a napalm strike on him. Throw another decoy in that spot. Oh my God, I'm in the napalm. Okay, he's definitely close enough now. Ring of fire. Um, It's not seeming like it's doing a whole lot and his whole horde spawned right in front of me. Oh, come on. I'm literally shooting him in the cock. Okay, I, I don't think this is a possibility. It's out of the realm of possibility. Okay, throw this here. You guys get distracted with that. I'm gonna try to hit him in the prolapse. Okay, a decent amount of damage. Nothing insane though. Oh no, I'm fucked. I have a nade. Okay, now he's pissed and he stomped me. Jeez, Arda, relax. Oh, come on. I guess I have to use my self revive. Okay. Well, that was a disaster. That was brutal. Not only did we go down and lose our perks, but he, he just, he, he made a mess out of us. He stomped on us. That was our very first down. Let's get all these back. We need elemental now. And now let's test our theory. Does it cherry every time I reload? Nope, just at the initial one. That's lame. I was hoping this thing could just be like an electric cherry farm, you know? But it seems like, at least for me, the running trend is that shotguns don't really like how is the threat to Orda? Like, they do decent damage. We have to wait so long for Orda to get close enough, like, to get in range to shoot him. And then while you're doing that, you also have to worry about the horde of zombies spawning in front of you. By the time you're up there and you, you've cleared out the zombies, it's like he's already done enough damage to the reactor. So I, I unfortunately don't think it's possible to kill Orda with this thing. At least not solo. I wish Klaus was here. Oh, there's our chemical camo. So we have everything but our crits done. And we have like a thousand to go. No. And since we have so far to go, I, I think it's it's montage time until we get it. So unless something like interesting happens, I'll see you guys when we get Dark Aether on this. No. Oh. Oh. 
Let me out! Ooh, very close, very close, very close. Oh shit! Fuck! Stun! Stun! No, let me out! Oh, why did I core myself so bad? Oh, and I still made it out! Jeez, there's been some crazy saves! No! Oh no! Come here, come here, get cherried. There we go! No way I went down again. Absolutely no way. Without having Jug, it is dangerous out in these streets. And I have literally nothing right now. But we're so close. All I have is a uh, speed cola, which, you know, arguably could be the best perk for this weapon. I need quick revive. I need Jug. I need everything now before this round starts. What? Why did it do that? No, 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 no. No! I was so close. Why did it do that? I was in the middle of buying my perks and all of a sudden it's like, oh, shoot the ground. Okay. And then it, I couldn't throw my stun because I was drinking a perk. Come on. Jeez. I leveled up so much too. We're so close. We only needed crits left. That's it. That's all we needed. How close are we? Oh, uh, 500 away. 500 and like something. I don't even know. We'll finish this out on, on, on D Machina. Go ahead and put me down right here, Uber Air. Drop me off. Pain and suffering. The amount of time it takes to reload this thing, I could get my taxes done. I could learn how to fly a plane. I could write, you know, a, a syllabus to an entire course. There, there's just so much stuff I could do while waiting for this thing to fucking finish reloading. I really can't believe we had to do two whole games. It takes so long to get to the point to even be able to get 500 crits. Ah, that's so painful. We're only halfway there. And then we're on round 15. There's Gold Viper, finally. All right, I'm done. Take me out, take me out. Leave me here to bleed. The pain is over. I didn't get to shout out sex. I didn't get to shout out weed. I had to go a whole, what, I died on round 45 or whatever the last game. Probably about like 60, maybe even 70 rounds. I, I'm not even gonna do math. It all comes down to one mistake. You make one mistake, you're screwed. But we finally have it done. It's all over, goodbye cruel world. All right, this is what the street sweeper looks like in Gold Viper. Absolutely awful. Literally, it doesn't even look like there's a camo there. Like Diamond, pretty cool, pretty decent. Dark Aether, very disappointing, actually. You'd think it'd be on more of the weapon, but let's go take a look at it in game. All right, this is what the street sweeper looks like in game with Dark Aether. I guess it looks a little better in here, but really disappointing that it doesn't cover like most of the weapon, like the whole huge drum mag on it. You feel like that would be a nice place to put the camo. I don't know. It kind of feels empty. I'm also kind of just pissed off that I died at round 45 and I had to play for a whole nother hour to get the rest of the crits, but you know, it is what it is. Overall, you know, the gun's good in zombies. Not, not a good grind because the crits are just awful to get, but... You know, that, that's just how it goes in zombies sometimes. But I'm going to have to end the video here. If you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.